Greg Thomas, everybody. What kind of fucked up school gets the older kids two extra minutes? Of course they're going to bully the little kids. That is fucked up. All right, the weed streak stops here. All right, big hand for Dr. K. If John Lennon were alive today, he would be singing about the state of the Oklahoma City Thunder. <laughs> Imagine there's no Kevin. It's easy if you try. No Serge Ibaka. They traded him for three guys. Imagine all the people burning Durant's jersey. Imagine no possessions turned over by Russ. And no coach named Scotty. They threw him under the bus. Imagine all the headaches given to Sam Presti. You can say I'm a dreamer, but I think things will go well if we sign Blake Griffin and he doesn't punch out the hell. Thank you. <laughs> Kia car salesmen are all going to hell <laughs> because they keep selling their souls. <laughs> if, you, if you hire a prostitute and you don't go to a pimp to do so, does that mean you're getting your hoe sales? <laughs> Never shop at a Bed Bath & Beyond in Pittsburgh. They have steel curtains and terrible towels. Okay, I'm glad we have some football fans in the audience. A lot of times I'll get people in the audience who think the Crimson Tide is part of the menstrual cycle. Or people who think Sunny Dykes is the name of a lesbian tanning salon. You know, in church, they tell you that what you give to Jesus comes back to you tenfold. And they're not just saying that because he's Jewish either. <laughs> I often wonder what Jesus was like as a teenager. Did Joseph have to ever have to say, Shut that door, Jesus! Were you born in a barn? I don't have to listen to you, Joseph. You're not my real dad. <laughs> You've been listening to those three wise guys again? <laughs> Just Mari Povich. <laughs> and why are you coming in so late? You've been out drinking and dancing with your buddies? Now, Joseph, you know I wasn't drinking and dancing. Why? Because you're the son of God? No, because I was with my cousin John. He's a Baptist. <laughs> yeah, have to think about that one. <laughs> Glad to be performing at an Italian restaurant. <laughs> you know, Italian guys are so passionate that when they take Viagra, they become attracted to both sexes. <laughs> yeah, makes the day go by. <laughs> but you know what's more impressive than Viagra is Cialis. Because Cialis treats erectile dysfunction and an enlarged prostate. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> I used to, I used to live in uh, Alabama. Already? Already. I lived in Alabama, which is one of those states where they're watching Beverly Hillbillies on PBS. You know, where type two diabetes is a prerequisite for citizenship. <laughs> so that scared me because when I was in Alabama, I saw a Cialis commercial where a guy said that diabetes contributed to his ED. And I'm like, if diabetes contributes to erectile dysfunction, don't ever say the South is going to rise again. <laughs> can, you imagine, can you imagine waking up 
waking up one morning knowing that that lancet you stick your finger with to test your blood sugar is the only prick you can still use? <laughs> That's my time. Thank you very much. Dr. K, everybody. <laughs> All right.